you ever want to split columns into sub or mini columns? So for example, here we have leads and deals. And let's say we want to split them up by the different sources, but still keep it under these categories. Let's go ahead and jump in. We'll start with our leads first. So I'm going to add two columns. And that will give me three columns altogether for our sources. I'm going to add a row below. And then I'm going to combine these columns. I'm going to click and select these three. And then I'm going to merge those cells. Then I can select these columns, right click and resize and change these to maybe something like 40. And then I could put in my sources here. So maybe Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. And then I can adjust the look here, find something that suits what I'm looking for. And then I could split up these numbers into those relative sources. So for example, maybe something like 35, 25, and 15. And then we'd have that. Now, one thing to keep in mind here as well is if you want totals, we could add that by adding another column. Let's go ahead and merge these again. And then I can add a total here. And this one, I could just add a single formula like this sum and I automatically figure out what I wanted. And then I could drag this down, for example, to fill that in. And then maybe I could even change the background color in this just to indicate that there's something there. And then as I go on and fill these in, that will automatically update with those totals. Just like that. All right, so I can do the same thing with deals. And then I'll show you then after that how to reformat our table. So we got some borders now that are a little off and some missing borders. So I'll show you how to do that here in a moment. Let me go ahead and merge these. And then I can even copy and paste these. I'm not going to, I'm going to do values only. So control shift V. And then go ahead and do this. We'll go ahead and resize these down to 40. And then I can split these up. So I could copy this formula here and paste it here. And I'll show that same formula. And then let me go ahead and just I'm going to copy and paste this formatting. So I just select that, hit paint, and then do that there. And then we're getting closer. So I'm going to go ahead and fix this now. So let's go ahead and change our borders here. So I can do this one and just do vertical inside borders, just like that. That looks pretty good. And then I think really all I need to do is add a outside border. So one thing with borders, you need to reselect every time you change the color or this type of border, and you can do it like that. Maybe we want to add one in between these as well, just like that. And that looks pretty good. So we could make this one a little wider since it's the total, we could turn it to like 50, something like that. Um, or you can go the other way and make these narrower, maybe make these like 35. Just like that. And then we can again split these up like we did with the other one. Just like that. And at this point, then we could obviously add other metrics like our leads to deals and so forth. But that's how you can split up a column into sub columns and get that total there as well. So that's it for today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe if this was helpful for you and check out the other videos on our channel for more tutorials on both Google Sheets and AppScript. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.